Hey everybody, my name is Jared with Bluehost. In this video, we're gonna talk about choosing a theme within WordPress. We'll talk about and demonstrate how to install and activate a theme, how to differentiate paid versus free themes, and then we'll talk about how to install and upload a theme that you have downloaded via your computer. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we'll go ahead and log into WordPress to choose our first theme. You can do that by clicking on this log into WordPress button from the home page of your control panel. You can also go to my sites on the left here, manage sites, and log into WordPress from here. So when we click this, we'll be taken to our WordPress dashboard, and the WordPress dashboard is where we will choose our first theme. So as that loads, We'll see that we have appearance on the left-hand side. We'll want to hover over that, and then we'll click on themes right here. This takes us to the page where we see the list of currently installed themes that we can activate and choose from right away. You'll notice that we have some default themes already. If you want to add your own theme though, we'll have to look at the options up here at the top. So we have premium themes, wordpress.org themes, and we have upload as well. Let's go ahead and check out wordpress.org themes first. So from here, we'll see a page of results for themes that are pulling from the wordpress.org database. These are all free to install and activate, which is pretty great. If you wanted to find a particular theme that fits your website needs, click on feature filter right here, which will take you to a list of options to filter down the results of the themes that are displayed based on your particular requirements. So if you have a specific business or industry that you want your website to fit under for themes, you can select those here, such as photography. If you have a particular feature that you need for your website, those are listed here in the second section. And then we have layouts for the overall kind of look for your website as well. Let's go ahead and select one like photography as an example and apply the filter. So this will give us a list of results of themes that fit under that category or tag. So let's scroll down and see if we can find one that we like. If you want to preview a theme, simply hover over the thumbnail, click on it, and you'll get a layout and look for how the design of the theme actually displays, as well as a description of the theme and some information from the developers on the left-hand side. You'll also see some ratings for that theme as well. If you find a theme that you like, go ahead and click install right here. And this will begin the process of installing that theme for you to then use and activate for your website. So as that installs, we'll get a confirmation message right here. And we'll be able to activate that theme from this button that has now appeared. Let's go ahead and go back though to appearance and themes, just to confirm that we have that theme installed completely. We have it right here. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and click on activate to use our new theme that we just installed. Wonderful. So we have our theme activated. We can see that it is the active theme right here on our list of installed themes. Now, if we visit our website, it's now using the theme that we just installed. Now that we have our theme installed and we've confirmed that it's activated, let's talk about how we can change our theme back to another theme that we have installed already. If we go back to the dashboard here and go back to appearance and themes, just like we did before, with the list of themes that we already have installed, we can activate another theme in order to switch it back. So let's activate one of these default themes as an example, 2021. After we activate that theme, all the hard work is done for us and our site, we can see here, visit site, is going to be switched back to that theme that we activated. So now that we have our theme changed back, let's talk about some options for choosing a paid theme. We'll head back to the dashboard and go back to appearance and themes. And as we pointed out earlier, next to WordPress.org themes, there is a premium theme section. So if you're looking for something that has a little bit more bells and whistles, you can click on premium themes here. And on this page, you can see a list of premium paid themes that allow you to purchase 
and read more about those themes from here. If you're interested, you can preview any of these, just like you can with the free themes from the wordpress.org search. And the nice thing about this is that it's going to display your website as if it were using that theme with your current content. So if you're interested, you can read more details or purchase now, and you can see some ratings as well for the premium themes. Now that we've gotten a chance to look at some premium and free themes, let's talk about how we can install and activate a theme that we have downloaded on our computer locally. So we'll go ahead and close out of this and go back to the WordPress dashboard and go to Appearance and Themes one more time. And this time we'll go ahead and click on Upload up here at the top of this page. From here, we can see that we have an upload theme button right here. And this will bring up the option to choose a file on our computer. Make sure that your theme is in zip format. So we'll choose file. And right here, I have a theme called Hestia downloaded in a zip format right here. We'll go ahead and select that and click install now. Once that's fully installed, we'll get a confirmation message right here. Theme installed successfully. And if we go back to the parents and themes one more time, we should see that available for us to select right here. So we can go ahead and activate that theme. And just like that, you've uploaded and installed your own theme manually. So that covers everything that I wanted to show you with choosing a theme in WordPress. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a comment and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more future tips and tricks on how to build your website with Bluehost. Um, thanks again, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.